Hayden, thanks for joining me today at uh, John's Treasure Adventures. So what, who are you and what do you do? Are you a local historian here in Abita yeah. Springs? Yeah. What do you like to research? I go over there. Yeah. And I find a lot of stuff. I find a treasure chest. So is that what we're here for today? Are you are you going to show me some hidden treasure? This, could this be John Lafitte's missing treasure? Sure. So you're pretty sure you found it, huh? Yeah. Do you have any evidence, or is it all hidden over there? No, I have it. I have evidence. Okay, well let's go look at it. Oh, okay, now we're leaving. Okay. So, Aiden, what what makes you think you found Jean Lafitte's treasure? Well, whenever we get to the spot, I f I have a treasure chest. You and found a treasure chest? Yeah. Was it? Is it in the sand? Yeah. Now I understand you have two maps to make it particularly challenging for me to find this treasure chest. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where? So, is the first map going to be hidden around a tree somewhere? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. Well, you let me know when you're ready. I'm going to go find it. So, Aiden, what other treasures have you found? I found three pieces of gold. You did? Yeah. Can I see them or are they in the river? I'll here? show you them. Okay. I actually have them in my bag. Well, very Stop. cool. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to show you them whenever we get stopped. So, what have you found out about Jean Lafitte? Is there evidence that he was actually here in Abita Springs at one time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah? Did yeah. he and his men bury treasure so the government wouldn't find it? Pretty sure. Nice. Okay. Okay, so he's kind of a beginner on this, so I'm gonna make it easy for him. Put it there. Okay. So I'm getting it all hooked up for him. And we're gonna put this over here. Good. They're hidden. They're hidden. Today I'm going underwater with an underwater expert, Aiden, and he is like the man at finding things underwater. Today we're looking for John Lafitte's treasure in Abita Springs. I think he knows where it is. Yeah. But he made it hard for me. He hid two maps I have to go find. And once we find them, it's going to take us to the beach. And at the beach, he claims there's gold scattered in the sand and that there's an actual treasure chest buried under that sand. Okay, so I hear there's a legend about this gold. Tell me about it. What do you know about it? Well, I went over here like a, a week ago and I, cl I claimed to find a chest and three pieces of gold really? in the water. It's not shamed. So I got to find maps now so we can go look for that. Yeah. Okay, can I have a clue? Is the map in this area, the first map? The first map is over here. Well, let's go look for it, guys. Let's All see right, if we can't find I'm going to follow him. Map. So Matt, uh, Aiden, do you uh, swim in the Sabita River often? No, I basically just go walk in and find gold. Ah, cool. Yeah. Do you use metal detectors when you find the gold? No, I just kind of take my GoPro and go under and stuff, you know, basic. Well, let's see guys, as you can see, our wonderful camera person, Kramer, is gonna get shots for us. Check out, this is the Abita River, and according to Aiden, there's gold in it. Yep. Okay, so somewhere around here is the map, correct? Correct. Okay. Am I warm? Nope. Let's see, am I warm? Is it up here? No. How low is it? You're getting warmer. Ah. We found the first. Is this it? That's the map. So this is going to lead us to the second map, correct? Yep. OK. Hey, you want to show me the so map? So there's a treasure. That's the second map. Oh, that's the first map. Is this a genuine Jean Lafitte map? Wait, what? Is this a genuine old pirate map? Yeah, it's from the 1400s. Is this how you found the treasure? Yeah. Well, cool, let's go. So it says right here, there's a, there's a tree that looks kind of like that one over there. Let's go check that out. Okay, let's go. Being a treasure expert is hard because you got to know and feel where you're at. So let's see, we're doing uh, this tree. It looks like this tree on the map here. Yep. So let's see, what do you think? So we're looking for a tree kind of like that. That one sort of looks like that tree. Okay, Aiden, let me know if I'm close. All right. Am I warm? No. Am I getting warm? Yes, yet? you're warm. Okay, is it you're up like high? You're like very hot. You're like in a desert. It looks like it's down low on the map. It might be. Okay, let's see. You're warm. A lot of sticker bushes. Oh, I think oh, I see something. You're warm. You found it. Got the it. second map. Found the second map. Okay, so this is going to take us to the beach, correct? Yes. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go to the beach. Go. Okay. So how long ago did you find this? Uh, these first three coins? 
about a week ago whenever I came. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did you get them appraised? Did they did they look like genuine pirate coins? Yes, and I went to a pawn shop and um, they came out for $1 billion off for A billion? So they're definitely not party city plastic oh, coins no, or anything no. like that? Oh, no, You sure? I'm dead serious okay. with you right now. And they're not doubloons from Mardi Gras? No. Because I'm not from Louisiana, because, you know, I'm from Japan, actually. You know. Yeah. And uh, we don't have Mardi Gras, so Wait, I've never seen I'm a actually, Mardi Gras doubloon. I'm actually from Texas, so I'm a Texas boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, cool. So we're pretty sure these aren't <laughs> Mardi Gras doubloons. So when you first found these three coins, what did you think? I'm going to be rich. Oh, yeah? Are you going to share them with the museum? No, I'm probably just going to possibly keep them or possibly turn them into the government. Well, cool. I did read on this map, on the back of the map, there was a legend about uh, some type of squid monster that protects the treasure. Are you the least bit concerned about that? Not really, because I think those went extinct in the 1700s. You don't think that's real? No. Okay, you didn't see any like tracks or anything of a giant squid monster? No, not at all. Okay, so we're safe to proceed? Yep. Okay, let's go. You go first. So, here we are at the Abita River. Aiden, our uh, historian, has told us that he found three coins near the river's edge, right over there somewhere. So we are getting warm. The map says it should be right over here. And um, we are right here, actually, in the turn of the river. And right here is where Aiden says he found the coins. And right around there, he claims he saw the corner of a treasure chest sticking out of the sand. So, let's go see if we can find it. Okay guys, so this is where Aiden found gold previously on, from this expedition. So he says yeah. over here there should be more gold coins. Let's see if we can find any. Did you see any this morning? Uh, no. Let's see. Okay, so we're pretty sure Jean Lafitte came with his band of merry men and hid some treasure around here, correct? Yeah. Well, okay, so see. am I searching with you? Yeah, help me search. Well, let's look on here and see if we see any traces of gold. Wait, I think I see something shiny. Wait, did you find something? What'd you find? He found gold. I did I find gold? Nice, how many pieces did you find? I don't find out. You found two? Yeah, I found two. Oh, what, another one? Get a tight shot, show them in your hand. Wow, awesome. Let me take a look. Look at this gold. This is real, this is Aztec gold. That's a symbol yeah. for Aztecs. <laughs> and look, I think their god is on the other side. Their god is on the other side, look at this. What is that? It looks kind of like a clown, but <laughs> I think their god is, it almost looks like Mario, that is so strange. Kay. So this is where you found it for it. So you said you saw yeah. the corner of a treasure chest sticking out of the sand? Yeah. Well, Most let's definitely. see if we can find it. Okay. So. Now you said right here is where we found, well this is where we found our gold coins this morning. Yeah. And you found a trail leading up to what you thought was the treasure chest? Well what do you think? Are you sure? Look, both these maps mention some yeah. type of squid monster protecting this thing. I don't sure think there not? is. Okay. Because that was like, I don't know how many hundred years ago. So, so it, shouldn't still, it shouldn't still be around. Yeah. Okay, well, well where do you think it might be here? You're the, you're the map reader, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. So okay. where do you think these, this treasure could be? Okay, I think it says we go over here. Okay. Oh wait, wrong way. Okay. Oh, oh wrong is the way. map upside down? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ah, so it's wrong on this way. side. Happens all the time to great explorers. Now you know, they said it might be inside of this log. Yeah. So wait, there's a warning. Legend. Beware legend. What does it say? Beware protected Beware, by Beware like protected by squid monster. That can't be real. No. Well let's look, see do you see anything in there? So you think it might be in a log around here? Yeah. It could be. <gasps> what? I think I found it. I can't believe this. What if there's a curse in there and it jumps out at us? Yeah, what if there's a squid? It's probably empty. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. Look at all that gold. We're going to be rich. <gasps> oh, they this got silver. Awesome. They got silver. This is crazy. Are you guys seeing this gold? This is crazy. So this is it. This is Jean Lafitte's missing treasure. Yeah. I can't believe this. So guys, I think we actually found it. And apparently, 
curse free too. So we found that nothing bad happened yet. Uh, Here you go. Are you want to hold your this. treasure? I can't believe this. Look at this treasure. <gasps> no, way. is that an actual? Wait, hold on. Well, Aiden, I think we lucked up. We got, I don't care what these maps say. There's, there's a curse on the back. I think that we got away scot free this time. Yeah. So guys, if you're out there looking for treasures, don't be too concerned about curses. You know, because there's warnings everywhere, but as like as, as you can tell, we're not too concerned about it. Yeah, so, not really. is that your hand on my shoulder? What the? What the?